The UN General Assembly in December 2020 approved and proclaimed that the 31st of August of every year is International Day for People of African Descent. Costa Rica collaborated with the United Nations Population Fund and the Office of UN High Commissioner on Human Rights to organize a series of events to celebrate the first edition in Costa Rica to which Ghana was invited. Ghana put on display her rich legacy and culture as part of her contributions to the development of people of African descent and the development of societies all around the world. The same gesture has been returned to Ghana as the UN Under Secretary General and Executive Director of UNFPA, Dr. Natalia Kanem, in her role as the UN Secretary General's designee, is championing the Afro descendants agenda which Accra is hosting. Vice President of Costa Rica, Madame F.C. Campbell Barr, who visits some historic destinations in the country while here and engage with people of African descent with critical partners such as donor communities, CSOs and line ministries. We're going to work a lot and to feel a lot that Ghana wants to give us and that we want to give you as people of African descent as Costa Rica. The executive director of UNFPA, Dr. Natalia Kanin, said her outfit will leverage on new technologies and new media to deploy innovative programs targeted at Afro descendants, especially women and girls. It is especially to help restore and preserve their rights, dignity, equality, sexuality, and fertility to realize their potentials. This is a moment where every child of African descent can take great pride in their heritage, can know that Africa is on the stage leading, to make a space for women farmers to finally have that sense of safety and security. Key expectations from the forum will be an understanding of pertinent international conference on population and development thematic areas requiring high-level commitment and resolution and potential trade and investment opportunities for the mutual benefit of people of African descent, particularly women, within the strategic framework of the African continental free trade area.